Detmers is going tonight, Steve. There's a chance, you know, he pitches back-to-back no-hitters. Is he the play on the mound for you? No, and I'm never going <laughs> to use Reed Detmers, period. So th- there's that, right? All right, mark the tape, Cody. Mark the tape. Yeah, mark that, okay? We're going to go with somebody that I never thought I was going to go with, but just as kind of this just kind of shows the lack of options in the pitching department on this Tuesday slate. This is usually my favorite day of baseball. It's not this week, and that's because I'm using Tyler Anderson. But there's a reason we're using Tyler Anderson because, you know, when we're talking about teams that just don't hit well, the Arizona Diamondbacks and left-handed pitching, they just do not go hand-in-hand. Hand. You look at the numbers for the Diamondbacks against lefties, absolutely putrid across the board. 281 Woba and 79 WRC+. plus. How do you even do that? 141 isolated power and a 24.6 K rate on the year. All of those are either extremely high in the departments they don't want them to be or extremely low in the departments that they should be high. Did you get all that? No. I hope you did. But Tyler Anderson tonight, I don't really want to use this guy, but there really isn't any good matchups that you want to attack tonight. Like some of the most expensive guys on the slate. Why are they mo- the most expensive guys on the slate? I guess some people have to be over 10K, right? Like that's just how the algorithm works, but that's how it is tonight. So I will go down the board a little bit, use Tyler Anderson, and then put him on the same list as Reed Detmers as never to be used again. That is Tyler Anderson for me tonight. Just one starting pitcher north of 10 grand uh, tonight on the main slate, which is 10 games, Gary. And who do you want to go with? I know. Yeah, it's bad. I I would say the sort of like linchpin of this slate right now is the status of Lucas Giolito. Uh, Mm. And and there's so many variables to kind of like deal with when you talk about Giolito, who's only 8,500, which makes no sense. Uh, It's a great matchup against the Royals, but we don't know if he's starting tonight or tomorrow. We also don't know if this game is going to be played because there was rain expected. So I can't take Giolito with all those question marks. So I will do the exact same thing Steve did and take a guy that generally I stack against, but will use just this one time on this particular (laughs) slate. And that is JT Brubaker going up against the Chicago Cubs. Uh, The Cubs did explode for nine runs yesterday, but prior to that performance, they had been pitiful in the month of May. They had the lowest WRC plus of any national league team at 67. They had the highest strikeout rate in baseball at 28.2%. And there's not a lot that JT Brubaker can do, but he can take advantage of a team that can strike out. He's got 33 strikeouts in 30 and a third innings so far this season. His expected ERA is also a run and a half lower than his real life, actual terrible ERA of 5.34. So You're going to plug your nose. You're going to use JT Brubaker. And I don't suggest you even watch this Cubs Pirates game. Just check the box score later. 